Okay, so here we got Legat. I have to record this part again. Uh, I just didn't record the first time for some reason. But yeah, really love the nuance that he shows on this play. Manipulating with his eyes, the good pace in the, the route here. All of these things, very important. Especially from a bigger body receiver that, you know, really wins a lot of the times with his, like, physical and athletic duels. But yeah, you can see, you know, attacks that outside of stem originally. And once he does that, he starts getting back vertically on his stem, which is very, very important on this. You would take that initial, you know, work to the outside. That's your like first move and then this is seen as like your second move now that you're gonna break back to the inside but he peeks to the inside with his eyes his body language it all looks like he's gonna break to the inside there which gets this db to move and once he does that boom stick that foot in the ground break back to the outside of vertically on this guy get to that fade uh work through contact which is very important and then you know you're working through that contact losing balance a little bit but still able to you know get up attack the ball at its highest point stay in bounds very very good from you know Every athletic side he gets to show off at the end, working through contact, going up, making an athletic play on the ball. Really, really like to see this stuff, these types of plays. Now you get to see him work on his release here. I think, you know, he'd still work on his release packages overall. But I do like him exploding off the ball. He gets off the ball fast. I think he'd be a little bit better with his footwork, but he attacks up, gets this guy, you know, open up his hips early, and then he throws him open. You can, you know, get that separation there. But just due to his route, this DB is able to get back into a decent spot. But then he finishes at the catch point. Look at him go up, attack the ball, body control in the air, explodes up vertically, get a foot inbounds. He also does a good job in most situations getting two feet inbounds so that, you know, translates to the next level. But just really, really good job with the explosiveness, physicality to, you know, uh, beat guys up and create separation that way. And then attack. Because you can create separation in multiple different ways, and I think that's a part of Leggett's game that he does really well. Um, yeah, those are the plays that I like to see uh, from your release facing some press man-to-man. -man. Maybe more of a soft press there, but this is an impressive play. Look at him carry these guys. This is the stuff I want to see. Uh, this is important. The yak, we saw it with the speed, him pulling away. This time he's able to catch the ball, you know, try to spin out. Look at the position he gets put in here. His leg gets pulled up. He's on one foot. From when you're in the spot, you may be able to fall forward for a couple, like, like a yard or two, and then, you know, go to the ground. But he's able to get back on two feet, get control, and then drive his legs and carry multiple guys for another seven yards. You don't see that level of play strength balance from many, many receivers. This skill set is rare. And you combine that with the play speed also. And then if he can, you know, do the nuance type stuff I showed on the last route or the other two routes that I showed, very, very impressed with Leggett on that. Uh, we get to see, you know, the initial part of this play where he, you know, nothing too crazy, finds a stop on his own. But there is a part right there that's very important. That I think goes unnoticed because uh, it's a uh, more of the subtle things like this is a nuanced play after the catch the uh, yak skills you know there's more than yak than just being strong and being fast you know there's these types of things there's anticipation and then there's shifting your body momentum like this because sometimes you're going to catch the ball with your back to the football you have to it's just how it is but when you have this much space to work with you feel that you have all this space and you can flip your hips and your momentum and shift it up feel so when you catch it you're in their perfect spot to catch it and instantly turn into a runner. Instantly turn into a threat after the catch. That's the stuff I want to see. Uh, that makes me feel really good about players. Whenever they do those like little things like that, I always just feel like these types of players always end up translating to the next level really well. And it's all the little things that matter for these types of prospects. The guys who are, have all the physical traits in the world. When you do those little things well, I feel very confident about you. Great work from Leggett. Here we get to see him down the field doing some other you know nice stuff. Nothing too crazy in the route stem. But the ability to flip your flip out, create late separation with your hands, power, length. This is really, really hard to do. But once he goes here, ball gets thrown up. He probably could have stayed in this position and just floated back to the inside. But he wants to flip his, you know, basically center field turn here. Basically turns into a center fielder here overall. Gets into the DB. So now that he did this, he's able to keep his, you know, body on the DB. Use it to sort of shield him out. And then boom, late separation. Get back to where he was basically. And then go up and attack the ball. Uh, doesn't make it super obvious either like he does could potentially get called there for pass interference but doesn't make it super obvious because as you can see when he does push him there the db doesn't like give some crazy reaction so it's not going to be called most of the times i think but yeah this is really really special from like a tracking perspective and then uh this is the type of things like a lot of the really good receivers do that are like downfield threats like a mike williams-esque that they like are able to lean in create late separation with the the physicality of their games they're not going to always create separation with their athleticism well, again, also has that ability as well to create the separation with his athleticism. This is also a nice play. Getting him along. I like that he does some work from the slot as well. I feel like he can be a nice little big body slot uh, threat as well. Uh, downfield player. We've seen him make a 
difference from all three levels now. This one, I think he does a good job here because, you know, his initial angle, he's taking that sl slight angle to the inside, but it doesn't affect the DB initially yet. So now once he does this, he gets back to vertical. It's back to going on a straight line, which gets this DB to open up his hips just enough. Now he eats up that cushion and boom, he's able to cross his face. That's all he wanted to do was just get this DB to, you know, not cheat too far to the inside, get him to open his hips just slightly. And once he's eaten up that cushion, boom, break across his face. And then look at him levitate. He explodes up, levitates in the air to catch that ball. Um, uses his body to, you know, box that guy. Yao also a really good go job attacking it at its highest point. Always being a hands catcher when he needs to be. Sometimes he'll catch with his body. That's only when he doesn't really need to catch with his hands. When he needs to catch with his hands, he makes those plays at the catch point, which I think is super, super important and helpful from, from Leggett. But love seeing the little nuances to his game. Definitely came away more impressed in that area than I expected. And then, yeah, last play, the breakdown. We got him as the number two in this slot. Another good job, just route tempo, being, you know, a threat down in the red zone. This is just, a you know, another good example of him being in a good tempo. He's kind of gliding here, kind of raises that pad level, look like he might break, but then glides for a little bit longer. Um, slight angle, very subtle angle to the outside, which gets Stevie to open his hips. When he does that, boom, break back to the inside, win at the catch point. Big fan of Leggett as a player. Um, the physical traits, the nuances is all better than I thought. He can win in multiple different ways. This is the type of receiver you want. You want a guy that can create yards after catch and win at the catch point when they're those bigger body guys. And then if they do the route running stuff, at least, you know, at a slightly, like at least an average level and they start getting like slightly, slightly and better, those players can be very, very special. Those are the combinations that you don't see very often. And the ones that are like that, like the bigger bodies, are the ones that are usually successful. So, um, really, really enjoy the player. Look at if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get the